dieci, uno, due... These are four brilliant criminals at the climax of their most magnificent effort. This effort began six months ago in Puerto Vesto, where we were all aboard the ship for Africa. And they were my associates in a quest for uranium. Good morning, Mrs. Dan Rodder. Good morning, Billy Boy. Can you join us in the stove? Tell us to divide, sweat out the toxins, help nature to help you. Wouldn't dream of it. Harry, we must beware of those men. They're desperate characters. What makes you say that? Not one of them looked at my legs. This Indian, that Raja or whatever he was, that you worked for in the old days, he killed a lot of people, didn't he? Ah, but he had a better style. You must excuse my wife. She has a very lively imagination. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I think your doctors, evil ones, I mean. <laughs> the sailing of the SS Nyanga has been postponed. We ought to have got the plane and flown out, as I said from the start. Do you remember I say before, Lord? The Pelagon or is the captain drunk? Oh, of course the captain is drunk. But the real trouble is with the oil pump. My name is not O'Hara. It is O'Hara. You hear? Mr. O'Hara. Yes, Mr. O'Hara. <laughs> it's the most wonderful day. And Billy wants us to drive out and see his villa. I don't generally go sightseeing with strange men. You don't believe that, do you? Well, I believe anything you say. Mr. Chilton? Yes? It's I, Mrs. Darnoza, Maria. Oh, come in. Tea for two and two for tea? <laughs>